I'm just starting it. <laughs> so we're both aware that that's going on. <laughs> okay, the first question is, what issues were you experiencing prior to the experiment, prior to joining the experiment? Um, before the experiment, I was having money trouble, so lack of money or perceived lack of money. <laughs> um, and I was having fear of my ex-husband. What if he was going to come, what not? Um, we had one year break of seeing him, so I, and I didn't know where he was living or what he was doing. Was he going to come for me? What? So, yeah. So that was kind of constantly playing on my mind. Um, also, insecurity or feelings of not being good enough, you know, going out into the world, offering my gifts to the world and, for, and, and that kind of started when I failed my first physio exam and after that everyone, I, everything would always be, yeah, but is it good enough? Am I good enough? Could I do it better? Yeah, just, it's just that fear state. So constantly in fight or flight mode. Maybe not, yeah, not consciously, yeah. but subconsciously when I think back. Okay. What, if any, objections uh, what? or resistance did you have to joining the experiment? Um, well, the money factor in the beginning, but then I had a session with you, uh, one hour, one and a half, I don't remember, um, and it was just so fun and real, and I felt like you pulled me up on things that others probably just would have let slide. Like I remember, I don't remember what it was, but I remember you saying, stop, kind of, you know, and then, you know, me feeling it too and like, oh, yeah, what am I saying here? Or, you know, what what is this? So I really felt it was at a time that I needed someone to be really honest with me and someone who's not my friend, or, you know, we are friends, but not someone who I've had contact with because it was quite random how it happened mm -hmm. that you liked to comment of one of our mutual friends mm -hmm. and, and then I befriended you and so it happened, mm -hmm. you know. So I started watching what you're doing and thought, oh, wow, I was really drawn to it. So, so I think after that initial call I really wanted to do it and I was just going to make it happen no matter how much it was going to cost uh, I like <laughs> it I like when people do that I'm just going to make it happen I love it what yeah if, yeah well and I've always been like that no. I've always made shit happen when I need to I think I I wanted to and and yeah, even more so now, it's more natural just to, to make it happen naturally without struggling or, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what, what is your biggest breakthrough? Like how are you feeling now? What's all, what's that? Um, the biggest breakthrough I've had with the experiment is definitely being more in touch with my feelings again. And, you know, before that I was meditating and doing yoga and I was doing all the things, but on a day-to-day -day basis I was more, and I'd realised that more in my head. So more, um, got to do this, got to do that, you know, it'll happen when, when I do this. And, and I guess, you know, it's probably the shift is probably more that before I just sit down and meditate and then I'd feel myself mm -hmm. and now I feel myself all the time <laughs> yeah. you know it's kind of like a living walking meditation yeah. it's I mean, of course, you lose it. As, you know, I'm not. I'm not a monk sitting on a right. hilltop. That's, you know, you really saw important. my dirt. Exactly. You saw my my laundry yes. and my dishes. Yes. I'm a mom of three kids and I work. And yeah, so 
but um I can if I have something uh, an emotion yeah that's another thing that before I'd feel sad or angry or whatever and I'd I'd kind of push it away and now I just go yeah come on <laughs> hello <laughs> come on I'll, I'll give you a hug it's still not maybe not comfortable but I'm just like yeah okay easier yeah how long did it take before you trusted the process uh I trusted you straight from the beginning oh I guess you trusted me I trusted but like actually you. implementing the experiment like how long did it take before you're like okay I got this oh straight away cool. but it, probably because I'd already you know been dabbling in it and and I guess there we are very similar in taking things on and playing with it and um, and I get, but I guess what helped what I can see is what helped that I started on a high mm -hmm. like I was feeling already good when I started it mm -hmm. you know had those issues yeah. but I was feeling really good I found it then once I you know the the ebb <laughs> mm -hmm. came I was like oh that's a bit harder so probably if, if it was the other way around, I think I might have, you know, like looking back, watching other people's going through their stuff, mm -hmm. it might have been a bit harder. But then who knows, you know, it wasn't like that for me. So um, so what yeah. happens What happens when, when you go on the app? Now, like now, now that you, you are where you are. Yeah. I'll just go with it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and and I guess from yoga, I've had that experience for you know since I started really getting into yoga, um, doing Kundalini yoga. So you know you you bring up all your lights, but you also bring up all your shit. So so then so what? Then you have a cry, and then you just get on with it. You know, so I don't know. I just. I just don't see anything wrong with it anymore or, oh, but I should, you know, but I'm a yogi, I should be this and I should be so fucking happy. Well, right now I'm not and that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> right? Freedom. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm angry. Yeah. Yes. Um, and it kind of reminds me of um, – there's this saying where the Buddha, I think the Buddha, what's her name, Pema Chodron, mm -hmm. you know, the Buddhist nun, yeah. where, where she tells this story that the Buddha said, you know, imagine your issues or your, your emotions, the ones you don't like as a baby, and you kind of say, yeah, I'll, I'll wrap you in a blanket and I'll um, cradle you until... I'm ready to put you down. And and it's, yeah, it feels more loving, mm -hmm. even in the shitty moments. <laughs> yeah. um, and I think also with the kids before, I'd especially with my oldest daughter, you know, I'd, I'd she's a preteen. She's 12 today. Yay, happy and, baby, um, mommy day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um you know she'd be shouting or aggro or angry and then I'd try and be nice <laughs> come on and I you know try to make it harmonious and nice and by the end of it I'd be shouting at her because it wasn't the way I wanted it to be or I thought it should be and then afterwards I'd feel really um, guilty for shouting because that's not the mum I want to be and blah blah so, so I think now what's changed? Oh, let her shout at her siblings, and I just stay out of it, and I can stay in my peace mm -hmm. much more. I still shout, I still get angry, but but it's also I don't feel guilty afterwards. Perfect. Yeah, that's big. So, that's huge right there. Yeah. 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 Tell me about the compute computity computity. Tell me about the community aspect. Um, I thought that was really good because in the beginning I remember 
I think I wrote something and, and I thought, nah, I don't want to share that with a group of strangers yeah. because it was too personal and um, and I also didn't want it to be, you know, it was about the my ex and the knife story and all that stuff, the domestic violence. And and I kind of thought, you know, then people go, oh, you poor thing, and I didn't want that. So I kind of I remember I wrote to you in private about something that Which came I off, up. Which I offered to the group was that if you don't want to, I would love for you to share everything, and if you don't want to, that I'm there. I'm there for you to private. Yeah, message me. yeah. Yeah, and, and I appreciated that, and I'm sure many people did, yeah. or all of them did, yeah. and I'm sure all of them used it. They did. So, um, <laughs> they did, but they also brought a lot of stuff to the group, which was really nice, too. But then I remember Kay yeah. um, writing something, you know, brutally honest about her story, where I was like, oh, wow. Okay, now I guess if she's been that honest, you know, it doesn't really matter what comes after that. Yeah. Um, so it kind of, yeah, the group's honesty allowed me to then just drop the inhibitions and go, yeah, fuck it, you know. It's, it's just a story and and, and it, it doesn't go any further than this group and even if it does, it's, none of my business and you know it's kind of it's out there and 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 it, so yeah the community factor was definitely big and kind of supporting each other but then sometimes also someone commenting on someone's thing and you know me going ah oh, whatever <laughs> you know kind of watching what I'm going through and my judgments it's like who you know just seeing this crazy mind yeah but seeing it seeing for what it, it is. Yeah, seeing it for what it is and no longer fighting it or making yourself bad. Yeah, yeah. It, just it becomes like a hilarious, it, it almost becomes a comedy, right? Yes. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so good. So good. Yeah. And can you talk a little bit about the level of support? Like, how did it feel like, how held was the container? Yeah, very. I, I think you were... Uh, even though I'm a whole time zone away, you know, like what was it, 10 hours mm -hmm. apart, uh, it was always um, straight away, you know, you, you were there all the time. So, yeah, it was good. I wasn't all the time, but I made it appear that way. <laughs> I did, yeah. I'm, like, I'm meaning that I did sleep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what would you tell someone... Who wants to know about the, who's curious about it, about being part of the experiment, maybe is having doubts about it, about joining, I mean. I'd say that thanks to the experiment, I'm more playful again with myself, with my kids. Um, I've started dreaming again of, oh, you know, I want to... Uh, travel to Peru, Peru and see these rainbow rock formations and I want to travel the world and do this and that and it's kind of become more technicolor again where, whereas before um, I was more like stuck in my rut and, and yeah I got to do this and I got to be a mum and blah blah and just to realize hey hang on a minute <laughs> This life is here for me and now and not when the kids are adults, you know. And haven't you already been to, you've been to Bali, right, already? Like since Yeah, then. yeah. So cool. Oh yeah, yeah, made that happen. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um I'd say yeah, if you if you have something if your gut tells you to do it then then do it and you won't regret it so yeah i love that it's all about the guts yeah the guts every almost everybody who signed up i would say everybody who signed up said i don't know why i signed up i just my guts told me to i had people who told me they dreamed about me or dreamed about that this experiment and people that like had friended me maybe two days before joined the experiment so like they had no real experience with me but they knew that they had to do it and, um, yeah, that's really the best way that I could tell people too. It's like, if your guts are telling you, then, then you do it. And if not, then there's something else out there for you. Yeah. Yeah. 
Cool. Yay! I'm going to turn it off. This is awesome. Okay.